So, kodachi uchitachi pa. Now, uchitachi takes geta, okay? And kodachi takes uh, chudan hami by aiming at the chest. One, two, three, we come forward. Now, uchitachi, no, uchitachi goes up to chudan, but uchitachi doesn't let you come up to chudan. So he's kind of, kind of suppressing you. That's why you take, uh, what do you call it, wakigamai. Uh, so just before it touches the sword, okay, touches the, which touches the sword, and he doesn't let you, and then he comes into a uh, irimi. Okay, that's why I'm going to go, oh no, I'm not going to let you do it, but he comes forward. Now I have, I have no choice. Strike from wakigamai. Straight up, straight down, yeah, cut down, to, and then he's going to take zanshin, pointing at the throat, and we're done. Okay, so important part. Now you come up, okay, and he's he's trying to push you suppress you push you down right and then you don't want to go up because of that you always go to the sideways take a step backwards okay and then go up straight up just like cut the number four okay and straight towards your opponent cut it yeah otherwise it just doesn't work a lot of people because of this motion palm because of this motion they are coming from the sideways this won't work. So sideways from there, straight up. I double checked the instruction manual. It is said from Wakigame, you will go up to Hidari Joda. Cut down, nice and straight. Your opponent moves anyway. So make sure you cut straight. Okay, so from here go, wow. Straight, yeah. Oh. And he's gonna do, your partner's gonna do his job. And then we go back, yeah, Zanshin. And we go back to the center. So, Uchitachi, again, make sure you do the right thing, come up. Okay, before it just touches the sword, he comes in. Take Wakigamai, straight up, straight down. That's it. Cool. Oh, and then Zanshin, and then we go back to the center. That's all Uchitachi has to do. Okay. Okay, kata, uh, Kodachi kata number uh, two, Shitachi part. Okay, now he's, uh, Uchitachi takes uh, Gedan. Stachi takes Chudan, Hanmi, and a little lower, so kind of aiming at the chest of your opponent. And we're going to take three steps forward one, two, three. And your partner comes up, up and you go mm, pressing down. And then the, right before, the reason he is going down is because I'm going to eat me. What happens if he comes up? He comes up here, okay, he is dead because I can go like this, okay, so he's gone. So that's why he doesn't like it because I am not moving here and he knows what's going to happen, so that's why he's going to do that, okay. So now when you do this, so you're going like this, okay, chudan, hami, and sword pointing at the uh, chest. Now, probably you can see my uh, kodachi is turning to the left a little bit. Again, consult with your teacher, okay? And from here, one, two, three, he, uh, uh, uchitachi's sword is coming up, push it down and it goes straight. This is straight. From here, go straight. Okay, Uchitachi comes up to Chudan, you don't want to let that, let that happen, so you get in. Make sure you're getting good, because he's going to go back, get in. So that gives him the pressure. 
because I'm too close, right? And another enemy going, another enemy go, he comes at you to execute main strike. So again, Kodachi, is, Irimi is very important. So from here, I'm going to Irimi, he doesn't like it, but still going Irimi. Ah, to. Okay, so that's very important. Make sure you go, put pressure, you go forward sufficiently, otherwise this probably won't work. And then, he's going to cut my man. So what happens here, he's going to cut my man and go, go up. Again, above your head. Okay, from here, go pang, above your head, strike man, and you're going to this, you, we have, we're close, but he can still cut me. So what we do, to and zanshin, to make sure your left hand is still on your hip bone. Okay, this is not good. To this is not good. Okay, to complete your main cut, and then zanshin. Okay, now the reason which part of the uh, arm you should be pressing is right above the elbow, the jo elbow joint. Okay, from the top, from the top, and your thumb should be between this right in the middle of the joint. Okay, right in the middle of the joint. Okay, and from the top. Top and your right hand should be on your right hip bone, Kensaki pointing at the throat. And this, this way, even if he wants to move his sword, I'm kind of pushing him away. Okay, and from here, I can go back. Okay, I mean, he is starting going backwards because he's with touchy, so I can let go back to the center. Okay, and what I learned from uh, my sensei was when you go up just like kind of you know wiping your nose with the this part of this part of the hand like this so from here you go up and strike up and strike near to up and strike okay so from here uh, turn, turn, and walking on my right. Oh, on top. Okay, one more. To do straight walking on my. Oh, on top. Okay, and then and make sure you do you use the side of the sword. Like again, shinogi part, this is number one. Number two is the other side, the right side of the sword. Strike. Now, depends on how uh, close or far from, uh, you are from your opponent. So sometimes you can't reach. Okay, you don't want to lean forward, of course. Tall, now you can reach here, but then, oh, it's a little bit too short. You can go forward a little bit. Okay, be flexible. Okay, but the, uh, ideally, tall, okay, tall, tall, this is ideal. Okay, and then go back to the center. And this is the end of kata number, uh, kodash kata number two. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash life.